The world is crying out in desperate need of healing. Since 1968, Medical Ministry International has demonstrated the love of Jesus, providing a healing touch and compassionate embrace to those who need it most in more than 23 developing nations. In the next half hour, you'll travel to some of the most remote regions of the world to witness the life-changing work of Medical Ministry International and to discover how you can make a difference of eternal significance to someone like Christabel. Christabel was three years old um, when she had a problem with her, one of her eyes. Um, she was taken to the hospital for surgery. Um, the surgery, unfortunately, was not successful. Nine years later, she had another problem um, with the other eye. And during the exam time, you know, or call exam room, you know, no one said back, you know, and so off. Everything is black. Christabel was referred to MMI permanent base in Accra. When she came, lack of funds made her stay home for so long. She came, there was too late. There was no much that we could do to help her regain her sight. Um, what happened to Christabel um, should, shouldn't have happened, and that is what really touches our heart. Unfortunately, Christabel's story is not unique. Some of the places where I've been and some of the things that I've seen are really difficult to think about, difficult to handle. Every day, hundreds of thousands of people are afflicted with debilitating medical conditions that could be helped, even cured, with just basic medical care. Jesus said, I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me in. I was naked, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you healed me. In all of my travels, the group that I found to be the most effective in helping people everywhere is Medical Ministry International. And it's such a blessing, and it's a blessing for our entire team to be able to do this every day. Because we know if we work really hard today, that some life somewhere around the world is being impacted greatly. Medical Ministry International utilizes volunteers to make a dramatic impact on people that basically would not survive without them. Currently on our calendar, we have over 90 project teams scheduled for this year alone. These teams of volunteer doctors and medical professionals change lives in the name of Jesus in places that otherwise would have absolutely no access to medical care and no means to afford it, even if it were available. This city is in the middle of the jungle. There are no roads to be able to connect this city to the rest of the country. So they are isolated. There was a young uh, boy came today with his father and they had come from Brazil and the young boy has an infection behind his eye. And he has not been able to find service in his home country. When the father brought the young boy to the registration desk, he said, my boy needs treatment. I don't have any money. I have a watch. Could I trade the watch for help for my son? Well, we can help his son, but he keeps his watch. You make it possible for that boy to get treated and that father to keep his watch, his only possession of any monetary value. Your Christ-like gift of compassion will enable Medical Ministry International to continue bringing vital healthcare teams to people who otherwise have no access to a doctor. By calling the number on your screen, writing to us, or visiting our website, mmint.org, you can help us save a life in the name of Jesus. Please call now. We see people that have really come to a point that they're truly at death's edge. 
You have people that are hours and sometimes days away from being able to be served. And so those are the type of areas that MMI looks for. Last year, we were able to reach 543,000 people. Every one of those people would not have been able to be reached without someone making a difference and taking the time to give of themselves, give of their resources to make an impact on someone half a world away. When we think about that last person in line, we don't want to turn anyone away. We have the team and we have the volunteers at the ready to go do it, but we have to have the resources, we have to have the money because everyone deserves a chance to live. Join God's team in making an impact on those that would otherwise not know that he really does love them and care for them. Please give today. You can put the teachings of Jesus into practice right now and love a hurting world by helping Medical Ministry International bring healing to another desperately hurting person half a world away. Call the number on your screen. Give as generously as you can and help us help others in the name of Jesus. Away from the central cities, miles from hospitals or doctors, lay villages and towns cut off from the outside world. These communities are subject to injuries and disease that can be, and often are, life-threatening. This is a great example of MMI's work outside of the main urban areas. Clinica Leticia and MMI have, have partnered together to serve the people of the region in Brazil, Peru, as well as here in Colombia. This is Santa Sofia, which is a satellite location of Clinica Leticia. It serves a village of approximately 600 people, but many of the Peruvians across the Amazon come over here for care because there is no other location that has any type of medical uh, personnel or um, facilities to be able to help them. Han sido como muy excelentes en la parte de, la, la de, tener, de contar con un profesional dentro de la comunidad, como es el caso de los, de los médicos ¿no? que están acá, que vienen cada ocho días. Porque prácticamente se había cortado una, o sea, una partecita como del tendón. Uh -huh. Se cortó México. con un machete. Con un machete. Sí. Entonces la señora enfermera le hizo una... Y no solo en eso, sino ya en varias partes a mí como decir porque eso hace parte de, de mejorar en la parte de salud. So you can imagine in this region where they're a minimum of you know, three to four hours away from any type of medical care, without a facility like this, you cut yourself with a machete, you may die. And so to have a, a satellite location like this is really what the, is at the core of MMI and what we're all about. We, uh, we don't go anywhere that we're not invited. That's always been part of our DNA, is that we always go somewhere where people want us to be here and to partner with them. Anytime you operate a facility uh, such as Clinica Leticia, you have nurses and doctors that are very focused on helping those that they're serving. The challenge that you have, though, is that they need to continue to increase their skill set and their knowledge base as new processes and procedures come forth. And we bring in uh, specialists and trainers to work side by side with these groups and it's an all-inclusive focus on training here. And so Clinica Leticia is, is the latest in a line of examples of centers that have been established for the long-term benefit of the, of the regions. MMI is partnering with hospitals just like this all around the world to help expand our reach globally to help more patients and save more lives. As a healthcare professional, it gives me great joy to see other professionals who are interested and willing to work and help themselves and help their fellow countrymen. And with your help and with MMI, we can help continue to further their training and their education. We can only continue to do this work if people like yourself will continue to engage and help support this ministry. One dollar equals eight dollars in care at MMI. Think about that. For one dollar, it can be multiplied eight times. How many of these people can we reach? You can help us be that answer to their cries for help. Help us make a difference in their lives.
your compassionate gift of just $25 will have the impact of $200 of medical care to people who have no other access to healthcare professionals. And your generous gift of $50 in the hands of Medical Ministry International will result in $400 of vitally needed medical help. Please call, write, or go to our website now and help us be the answer to their prayers. So where are we going to here? Where the river is. Where the river is, okay. Yes. So the entire village comes to fish, get your drinking water, you carry it back. Water area that just basically captures rainwater. So it's not really even a river. We've got stagnant water. If we look on top, we can see. So this is not a clean water source by any means. This, this is something they shouldn't be using. Mm -hmm. This is an example. Of, of one of the many challenges that we face all across the world where you have a village of this size that has to have water, but they have no source for water other than rainwater that is collected into what amounts to a contaminated pond. 80% of all disease in the world comes from waterborne disease, and obviously this entire village is, is wrought with, with illness because of a water source like this. Our water situation is very perturbed. We compete with animals with water. The, whilst the animals are looking for their source of water, we also take our source of water from the same source. Because of our sanitation and other things, you, you get mal help. Where do you go? Basically, this will kill this village. So the only way to address this is truly to find a better, higher quality water source for them in the future. These people are struggling to survive. They have nothing. You know, we've been blessed in the, in the States or in, in Canada or in Europe to have plenty of resources and we have quality drinking water. But yet in a village like this, their only source of water is a small collection pond. Rainwater then becomes contaminated with a variety of different things. In speaking with the local community leaders, typhoid, malaria uh, are rampant in this community, as well as other diseases. So our medical teams can come and help them, but we also have to eradicate what's causing the medical problems. And in this case, it's water. If we don't come do it, no one is going to. You can reach across the sea. You can help our teams provide God's love to these people who basically had thought no one cared. We're not in a community that's right off the beaten path. We're out in the middle of Africa. These are the poorest of the poor. All they're trying to do is survive each and every day. And we have an opportunity to come in and provide something that's very basic to most of us, quality water. So if we can't provide a quality drinking source, we're putting a small bandage on a very big problem. But you can help make a difference. For just $500, you know, that's 10 people donating $50 a piece. We can dig a life-changing water well. $500 can change the lives of 10,000 people. But we've got to be able to provide this source and the money is, is, is running out and we need your help. Please, you can help us make a difference and help to change the lives of these people. Pick up the phone and call us now. And whatever you do, please keep the ministry in your prayers. We need every bit of support that we can get because together we can change lives. Just 10 people calling the number on your screen and giving $50 each will bring clean water to an entire community and vastly reduce their disease and sickness. Medical Ministry International needs your help to bring healing to the world. Please call now. Toilet and everything be damp here. Uh, the drains are not constructed, and whenever it rains, we have a whole lot of problem over here. 
it flooded all, all over and then um, you can't get any um, access place to go out. So it breeds mosquitoes and other flies which causes um, a whole lot of uh, sicknesses. We have frequent um, malaria problems over here. We have diarrhea and then um, uh, cholera at times. Very, very, very uh, densely populated. Uh, we can help ourselves. Uh, for over uh, 30 years now, this is how it's, uh, it is. And we're crying, crying, crying. This is an example of the things that we come upon everywhere we work throughout the world, but especially here in Africa. As you see here, we have an open sewer system. There are tens of thousands of people living in this community. This is what's causing the type of illnesses that we're facing. The younger ones, you can see all around, children jumping, hopping all over, but they have no place. They have no choice to go, but this is their home. This is their um, area, so something needs to be done for us. Every day that goes by, more and more people are being affected, whether it's cholera, whether it's malaria. Every day that goes by, more people are getting sick. With your help and support, we can change this. We need to help these people. You can do it, but you've got to pick up that phone today and call. It really breaks my heart when I know that there are women all around the planet who cannot live and be normal because of the conditions that they had nothing to do with through either childbirth or bleeding or tumors, and it's not their fault. BVF is vesical vaginal fistula. It's generally caused when a young girl, maybe 12, 13 years old, is married off to a man she may not know, away from her family, and of course, she becomes pregnant almost immediately. A young body like that isn't prepared for labor. So she may be in labor in pain for weeks. If she survives, all too often, she's incontinent of urine and even sometimes feces. And at that point, her husband doesn't want her anymore. The village or place where she's now living, they don't want her anymore. There's a stigma with it, and people will not like to associate with you. So sometimes the family finds a house which is a bit asked, so that you go and stay there with the family people attending to you. It becomes an asked. Um, their life is being challenged. Um, their human dignity is being challenged. They feel like they are not human. They feel like uh, nobody cares for them. Help them know that somebody does care. Go to the phone, write, or go online and make it possible for Medical Ministry International to continue bringing these vital surgical teams to these abused young women who have almost given up hope. Help us show them the unconditional love of Jesus. Please call now. When Grace came to us at Medical Ministry International, she had what we call severe fibroid uterus. Fibroids are tumors that are benign, but they can cause severe pain, bleeding, and can really affect a woman's ability to live and have a normal life. She was actually helping the mom with her business, but because she has to spontaneously be visiting the hospital, she was not able to help her mother to continue with the business, and that brought a lot of financial strain on, on her. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
five years. Uh, me didn't call the hospital. No, go no more can. Too much. The doctor ni kasa ni kumi tuani katanga kanto no ni man. No me sujo. She was going to stay for about three years in order to get the amount of money to pay. When she came to us and we we saw her condition and by God's grace she was a candidate for a surgery. We decided to do a surgery that would actually keep her ability to have children. And then the next day we performed her surgery. The, the greatest need here now is accessibility to the healthcare and professionals to come in and help. For example, like Grace and others, you have to live with the situation until you die. Reaching out to the people and connecting them to the MMI doctors that come to the country gives me a lot of fulfillment, a lot of joy. We, we literally can cure these women out of this problem. Since her surgery, we were able to remove the tumors and now Grace has the ability to have children. MMI is performing surgeries just like this all around the world to help women restore their place in society and be able to have children and have a family. One dollar equals eight dollars in carat MMI. Think about that. For one dollar, it can be multiplied eight times for $125. We can provide that life-changing surgery. We can provide the comfort to deal with the emotional scars. And we can go and make a difference, but we have to act upon those. It's up to us. You can help us make that difference. Call today. Even where hospitals do exist, they are often poorly equipped and lacking essential supplies and training due to bureaucratic delays and lack of funding. The biggest issue that we are facing now in the hospital is finances, because most of our clients that we attend to are on national health insurance. The monies due the institution a bit delays, and that becomes very difficult, if, even if you want to do some expansion into the hospital. Where we're standing right now, is a future maternity facility, but unfortunately, you see the work is stopped. When we brought deliveries into hospitals in the United States of America many years ago, maternal death decreased. Unfortunately, that's not happening around the world in so many places and in this community. There are four midwives here on staff at this hospital, and they work to the highest capacity to do exactly what they can to help these patients. They don't have a regular gynecologist here. The patient might actually need a C-section. And at that point, the only thing that's left is to try to get him to the government facility. There's no ambulance here. They have to wait for a taxi, sometimes for hours, in order to get the patient to the facility for the surgery that she needs. The need is so, so great. What we do at MMI is work directly on the ground with doctors and nurses and technicians right here to increase their capacity and their ability to see more patients and provide better care. But we need your help to help us with the necessary equipment that we need to outfit this operating room so that the doctors and nurses who are already here can provide excellent care after we've left. That's what it's all about. There are a lot of great organizations around the world that do good work, but we're not about doing good work and leaving. We're about coming and, and investing in a community and working side by side with people and not allowing anyone to be turned away. We have staff on the ground in all 23 countries that we serve. We have the teams that provide the follow-up and, and continue to work alongside because this isn't a short-term fix. This is a long-term focus. Help us continue saving lives. Your compassionate gift of just $25 will have the impact of $200 of medical care to people who have no other access to healthcare professionals. And your generous gift of $50 will result in $400 of vitally needed medical help. Please call, write, or go to our website now and make it possible for us 
to continue bringing help to those who need it so very much. Medical Ministry International has really focused our mission statement on using Jesus as our guide because our focus is to serve the people and to treat people the way Jesus would have us treat them. We are motivated by the love that God has shown to us to go help others. You cannot pay the feeling of satisfaction when you see that smile. People with no means to be able to get a surgery being performed and then suddenly a gift is given to them. We believe that people need to be treated with dignity, that healthcare is more than just passing out medications or doing surgeries. It is about caring for people. We need to focus on trying to go out there and, and do everything we can to try to save that next person that basically will die without our help. That's why we need to hear from you right now. Your gift of $50 entrusted to the work of Medical Ministry International will result in $400 of vitally needed medical help in the most remote and needy regions of the world. Every dollar that you give is multiplied and has the impact of $8 in the life of a hurting person. Every gift is so greatly appreciated and will bring life-changing medical care to someone who needs it so very much. On their behalf, thank you for calling. There are many people out there that will never have the opportunity to actually join one of our teams, but they do have the ability to help make this work possible. I'm not a doctor, but I've been involved in, in working in medical ministries for quite a few years. And I have to tell you, I have never seen an organization that for every dollar that you spend, you get $8 worth of services to the poor. The impact that our MMI team can make around the world is substantial. You're not gonna ever see a higher return on the investment that you are making in the service for God's work throughout the world. One of my biggest fears is that we will not have the money to be able to do what we're trying to do. When you see thousands of people that come and line up for our various teams, we can only help so many and then we have to turn people away. These are people that have come over mountains, gone through streams, spend days just trying to get to us with the hope that we can help them. And yet we run out of money, we run out of supplies, we run out of the ability to be able to help them. We've got the volunteers, we've got the doctors, we've got all the staff, but yet we don't have the money to be able to make this work. You can help us by providing the money necessary to keep this line moving so that we don't have to send any of these people home. Pick up the phone and call. Go to our website, mmint.org. And most of all, please keep us in your prayers because this is God's work and we're here to serve.